Paragraph panel is another option for modifying text. While editing in paragraph type is not a requirement, I would suggest editing in paragraph type if you plan to do significant edits with the paragraph panel. Some adjustments that can be made via the paragraph panel include horizontal alignment, paragraph indents, and first line indents. The glyphs panel is used to add special characters to a design. Many of these special characters can be added via a key command or keyboard shortcut but there are many times when it is easier to look up a glyph than to remember the specific key command that's needed. It is important to remember glyphs are determined by typefaces. Changing a typeface can result in missing characters, which means missing glyphs. Add a glyph by double plus clicking it from the glyphs panel when the text cursor is active and blinking. Now if we jump over to Photoshop, I'll show you how to do that really quickly. So I have the same layer that Whitney and I have been working on. It's the test layer. And maybe I've decided that that's not what I want. I want to type something more fancy like the word what. Whoops. Um, if I want to insert a special character or a glyph, I can use that to insert like a shape or a picture. Or even I could change the, the letter of the typeface but it is determined by the typeface itself. And so this popular STD typeface is probably not going to have a lot of preset glyphs that are available on the glyphs panel. So before I get started, I am going to change my typeface to something generic like Times New Roman, uh, because we can see a lot of different typefaces in that, uh, or I'm sorry, a lot of different glyphs in that typeface. With the text cursor blinking, if I was to launch the glyphs panel, which can be launched via the type menu, so go to the type menu, choose panels, and then glyphs. Um, once you have the glyphs panel open, it's kind of docked over here, so I'll undock it so you can see it. You can search through the glyphs panel for special characters. Uh, maybe you are making a pricing chart and it has things that are in euros or in pounds. Pounds sterling, my mother would correct me. Um, and when you have that, it, you, do, you could use a key command to figure out what the keyboard shortcut is to insert the pound sterling uh, currency um, marker, but sometimes that's hard. And so on the glyphs panel, if you search the entire font, you can scroll through and see all of the glyphs that are available in the entire typeface, or you can change it to just currency. And so now I could insert with the text cursor blinking by double clicking the pounds sterling icon or the euro icon for a pricing chart that I might be making. Uh, one of the cool ways to use uh, the glyphs panel is alternates of a specific uh, typeface. And so if I highlight the letter W and I change this to alternates for selection, you can see if there were uh, alternates for this selection, they would be available. Um, you can also just search the entire font and see if they have different characters that you may be needing. And so if you're typing in Spanish, you might need an Enya. And if you double click, you can insert an Enya. Um, you can insert lots of different characters with accents for projects or for types that you're working on. You can insert a copyright symbol. Um, all of these can be created using keyboard shortcuts, but it's kind of difficult to remember all of them. And it might just be easier to insert them using the glyphs panel. But be careful because these are tied to the times typeface and if I switch the typeface away from times to let's say something like popular which is the one we had before, popular STD black, um, all the typefaces um, that you have available to you might not have all the same glyphs built in. And if you choose a typeface that doesn't have it you'll see a square appear. And so it actually looks like popular has a lot so let's just click through and let's do arts and crafts. Um, they have different versions of the same letters, but eventually you might find a typeface that doesn't have a glyph and you'll, you'll see basically a big rectangle appear where there should have been a glyph in your typeface. 